What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is your preview for the Leicester versus Arsenal fixture ahead of the EFL League Cup clash. Yeah, Wednesday night, live, watch along on the channel, 7.45, we will be live at half seven. I've got a great, great preview for you. I've recorded a cracking convo between me and the only, the only, the only Don flipping Robbie. Yeah, AFTV Media's The Don Robbie Lyle has came on channel. We've pre-recorded a chat. It was supposed to go out live yesterday, but oh well, never mind. It's been edited and lovely put out here on the channel just for you. So please enjoy. Get your comments in, and I shall see you on the watch along live. 7.30 Wednesday night for 7.45pm kickoff between the two sides. I'll see you there. Smash the likes, get your comments in, and hit that subscribe button. Long winners over West Ham. Both yeah. of us have won our first two games. Both of us looking decent. I mean, I wasn't too impressed with our performance at the weekend. Oh, I was but impressed with us, I tell you. A win is a win. Um, So, it's an interesting game because we know that both teams are going to rest players for yes. the game. And it's also an interesting game because I've, I've got some very interesting um, stats around the game that sort of tells us about our horrible record that we've had in recent times um, at Leicester. Like it, which, I mean, they are very, very horrible. Should, um, should we read them out? Should we read them out just for fun? All right, I'm going to read it out, right? So Arsenal have lost each of their last three away games against Leicester in all competitions. Yeah. As many defeats as in our previous 19 visits That's right. to Leicester. We had a great record before that. 1-5, drawn 11, lost three. So that's really poor. Yeah. Um, however, then if you then look at it, um, what makes this game pretty close to call is uh, Leicester have reached at least the quarterfinal of the League Cup in each of their last three seasons. Uh, last fall in at this stage in 2016-17, uh, the Foxes have lost just one of their last 14 games in the competition, 1-6 drawn 7. Arsenal have progressed past this stage of the League Cup in 16 of the last 17 seasons. The last time we failed to do that was in 2014-15 against Southampton. So both of us at this stage of the competition have a good record of getting past this stage. So something is going to have to give, but hmm. you've got a good record against us. When you say a good record, though, Robbie, if you take away those wins that you're talking about in the more recent years, we only had like one win against you in the last probably 16 or so games or something. I think we've only beat you once before these three came in. We'd only beat you once. So history really, you've got 16 wins against us in total. So I was going to say, we've both got Europa League and we... We're looking, I don't know about you guys, but Leicester don't seem like they've got the biggest of squads, which I've already mentioned before previously on a chat with you. Uh, we have improved the squad a little bit with some of the signs we've brought in, especially with Castagna. Uh, and obviously we've got Ken Giz Under, who have just signed The Undertaker himself. The Undertaker. Uh, so can't wait to see how he gets on um, in the Premier League. But I think this is going to be reserve versus reserves, mate. I can't see anything else. It's going to be Youth Academy versus Youth Academy, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think... I think with Arsenal, I wouldn't go as far as to say Youth Academy, although there'll be a lot of... You know what I mean. Yeah, a lot of Youth Academy players in there, but some of our Youth Academy players, I have to say, they're quite experienced. I mean, I, I'd expect to see Eddie and Ketia um, playing in the game, but Eddie and Ketia played at the weekend, came off the bench and scored the winning goal. <coughs> um, I probably might... Maybe a Reese Nelson... Um, might play, but again, quite an experienced guy. Ainsley Maitland-Niles is... You can't no longer call him a youth team player, really, because he's experienced a first-team football. Same, same with uh, Joe Willock, who probably figure in the game as well. So I think it's going to be, with Arsenal, it's going to be obviously a much-changed team. Much-changed team, because even though on paper, you look on it and say, Arsenal have got a lot of players that they've not used yet this season that would make that squad that second team very strong guys like Torreira and that, but they're looking to sell these guys. And I don't mm. think they're, yeah. they're not going to risk some of these players. I've seen a, is that transfer news with Torreira as a swap deal? Is that right? For Partey? Well, yeah, there's been talk of a swap deal with Partey, talk of him going to Italy as well. So Torreira, I don't expect to see uh, I, I'm, whether Guendouzi will be back in favour. Who knows whether Ozil will be back in favour. So there's a lot of players players out of favour and there's a lot of players, as I said, that 
Arsenal want to move those players on. Yeah. And a lot of times when we want to move players on, we don't want to play them because if anything happens to them, out of the window goes the big fee that we're looking to try and bring in because we've still got a few signings that we're trying to make. Robbie, who's your uh, who's your reserve keeper now? Because you sold your your main man last season that really helped you out because Leno got injured, didn't he? Yeah, Martinez, who was brilliant, is has uh, now joined Aston Villa. Yeah, that's right. So it'd be probably be Matt Macy in goal, who's who was the third choice goalkeeper. Um, he will probably be that guy in goal. Not a bad keeper, not bad, a very a very big keeper. Um, so he'll be the guy that will will take it on. Yeah, I think um, I think. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what the team sheets are. It Same. always is like in the Carabao Cup, isn't it? Yeah. It's, what about you guys? Um, picking names out of hats. Picking names out of hats. You can't. You can't. You couldn't even guess. What sort of? Because you've got um, just like us, we've got Liverpool at the weekend. Mm. You've got Man City, haven't you? Yeah. So I don't expect to see Vardy and people no. like that. Definitely just not. the same way. I don't expect to see a Bamiyang and that because we've got Liverpool. Yeah. So, I, yeah, yeah. You know, so it, like you said, I mean, it is going to be a much changed team. What what sort of players do we expect? Would we expect to see Leicester play? Uh, I mean, Islam Slamani has been called back, I believe, um, in in the squad. Believe it or not, uh, you might even see him. You don't know. Uh, I, I can imagine it's going to be a Nacho up top. I think you're going to see Nacho up top. Yeah. To be honest. Uh, you're probably be going to get players like Matty James and Hamza Chowdhury playing, uh, potentially Mark O'Brien. Um, Damari Gray might get a run out as well because he wasn't even in the squad. And the rumours about him going to Spurs as well. Mm. I don't know how true that is, but Jose Marino is a bit of a fan of his. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit... To be honest with you, we've got some injuries as well. We've been playing Ndidi at centre-back. So I think... Johnny Evans will be eligible to play though because I think his red card's finished now. Uh, as I'm mm. not, sh- I'm not sure if he's uh, eligible. But there's, there's just like yourselves, mate. No idea. You couldn't pick on. You couldn't even pick who's going in goal. Is Danny Ward going to go in goal or is Jakubovic going to go in goal? Who's I don't think even had a chance to play yet. To be honest, no idea. What, what's the sort of reserve players at Leicester like? Are they good? Uh, well, if you put it this way, I think. Without Ricardo Pereira and Madison in the squad last season, we lost Champions League football, and that's all you need to know. You know, Kagalos Sunchu got injured, as, uh, got a red card against United. Uh, no, it was against Bournemouth even, sorry, and he missed the United game, didn't he? Um, it's, it's better now, because we've had, obviously we've signed Castagna from Atlanta, and uh, we've signed Kengis as well from AS Roma, uh, so... I'll be surprised if that Castagna, I mean, he got through a lot of work the other day against wow. Bernie. He's yeah. a really, really good player. Minor man of but the match. You, do you think you'll risk him no. the Carabao Cup game with, with uh, Man City coming up at the weekend? No, definitely not. Yeah, which is the same with us. I I just don't see us... I do see... Uh, what, the pattern what I've seen with Mikel Arteta is that he'll throw in a load of a, a much-changed team, but he does put a lot of insurance on the bench. Mm. It wouldn't surprise me to see a Bamiang, Lacazette, Willian, um, all these guys on the bench in case it's not going right that he can bring them on to try and get a goal or whatever. I, I've noticed that that's been the pattern of him, you know, when we played these type of games. Yeah, I think that will be the same uh, case for, for Leicester. I think you will probably see Jamie Vardy sitting on the bench, potentially. You know, uh, he's always he's always a goal threat, isn't he? And if it gets to that sort of point where it's like the 80th minute and it's really scrappy and we need someone to definitely get a goal, you're going to stick Vardy on, aren't you, at the, at the end? Like you say, a Bamiyang, same sort of thing. But, no, nah, mate. It's just going to... There's no guessing what the squad's going to be. We're not even going to predict the lineups. <laughs> no chance. What's the mood? The mood of Leicester fans. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But what I'm saying on this particular game. Oh, do they care or is it all focused for the weekend? Well, unfortunately, I think this cup's kind of been been tainted for the fact that the FA Cup's lost lost its magic, and this was the weaker cup out of the two anyway. Mm. So, I don't. I'm not really bothered about the the League Cup. We've won it before. It's not something that I'm really interested in trying to win. But it's a cup. So, the further you go on, I think the more excited you get. But 
it's just the Mickey Mouse Cup. Everyone calls it the Mickey Mouse Cup. It's been called the Mickey Mouse Cup since the nineties, Robert. Um, I want I want to win the FA Cup desperately, and you boys now to do that. You've won it the most. Mm. I'd love to win the FA Cup. Good cup to win. Good cup to win. Mm. Um, so talk us just uh, you know before we go, I, I just want to get an idea of what you think your team might be. Uh, okay, uh, it's it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be Danny Ward. Uh, you're going to have James Justin. You're probably going to have Wes Morgan. And if Johnny Evans is eligible, he'll be playing. Uh, Christian Fuchs will probably play if he's not carrying an injury because he was benched again. Uh, Demario Gray is going to get a run out for sure because he weren't in the squad. And I can't see him progressing into Premier League any further under Brendan Rodgers, personally. Uh, but he is still a squad player, so he'll be playing. James Madison's come back from fitness. He's had a bit of a mini run out for the last two. Uh, so you probably see him for a bit. Uh, Mark O'Brien will probably play. Uh, mm -hmm. Nacho. That's about it. Cool. Okay, I think going through our team, this is as my predicted potable <laughs> right arm, um, which would be Macy in goal. Definitely yep. up and calm. Saliba, I think, will get his um, run out. He hasn't actually figured yet in any of the two Premier League games. Played the under-23s the other day. I get a feeling he might get a run out. Maybe holding. Um, holding, yeah. Kalasinac, although I'm not sure about Kalasinac because again, it's a player that I know that also looking to move on. I think we'll we'll go with those three at the back with two wing wing backs of Cedric and Ainsley Maitland Niles. We'll probably yeah. be out on the left. Then probably El Nene. I think Xhaka will have to play. <laughs> he seems to play every single game. I think they'll probably put him in there alongside El Nene. But they had a good partnership those two um, in the Community Shield. And then I think it'll be one of Willock or Ozil. Oh, uh, really? Be, that's what's going to be really fascinating for me to see. Does Ozil get a shout in this squad? If he doesn't even figure in this squad, I'm going to be like, well... How much is he being paid to sit on the bench? £350,000 a week. Oh Probably God. the wages of about six of your players. Oh, my <laughs> but, God. But, um, yeah, um, I, think, I, do, I do think it'll be Willock who will start ahead of um, Ozil. Willock's full of energy. And then up front, I think probably Pepe, who hasn't started any of the games, has come off the bench in both of our games so far. Uh, maybe a Reese Nelson on the other side with Eddie and Ketia down the middle. Um, and I think I, I, I get the feeling that's me just predicting. But there's all any super other... subs. Any super subs? Who would you who would you have as a super sub, Robbie, in your well, team? Well, I think as I said, he always has a quite a strong bench. So I'd expect to see Lacazette, Abamyang, Willian. Willian, yeah. All of those guys, all of those guys on the bench, ready in case it's not going good. Because Arteta, he's he wants to, you know, he's one of these managers who wants to win every game. So um, I do think he will have a strong bench. But a much rested team. I mean, we played on Saturday, Saturday night. You guys played Sunday. We've had a one day extra. Yeah, but yep. not recovery. Really not not a lot in it. Did, how do you boys feel about this fixture as well? You asked me, but how, how are the Arsenal boys yeah, feeling about listen, this? Personally, I I would like. To, it's it's not that it's the League <laughs> Cup, you know, you just yourself, but you want to keep momentum going. You know, you want to keep that winning momentum going. So I think um, Arsenal fans would like to see. It's one. Listen, we all want to see a win, but it's one of those ones that if you lose it, you think, ah, oh, well, who cares? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Momentum-wise, it would be great if we could win the game um, because there's a lot of uh, good feel-good factor around Arsenal so far this season. So if we can keep the winning going. And then there's a trip to Liverpool in the next round, if you can... I know, I know. It's, it's, that, it's that, all... That <laughs> so, um, no, nah, but we want to win the game. We want to win the game. OK, do you think you'll win? If we go with that... To, you know what, as I said, it's so hard to predict. We need to break that hoodoo that we've got at your ground. I think it does help us the fact that there's no fans there. Mm. Um, we are we are a twelve man side, aren't we? Yeah, and I do think we've got a bit of a stronger squad than Leicester has. So that's why I'm going to air with us. I'm going to go with us because I feel we have a bit of a there's a bit more to our squad than yours. Your, your starting eleven is excellent, but I think the squad is like you sort of said. You, you sh yeah. it kind of showed through towards the end of the season when you had a few players out of that squad. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for an Arsenal win. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna go the opposite way around. I'm gonna go for Leicester carry on the home form against the Arsenal. I'm gonna go with a, a close game of two one as well. 
Okay, brilliant. Listen, Lee, thanks very much. Um, always good to talk to you, yeah. mate. Um, I'd normally say looking forward to seeing you on the night. <laughs> <laughs> I know, mate. I know. Always, always, always meet up for a video, don't we? But... I will see you on the night, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, again, Ravi as well. Thank you for joining on the channel as well. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. And I'll, I'll chat again. We'll chat again. We'll chat again. We'll Back One again. We'll again. <laughs> <laughs> Will I see you again? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Cheers, man. Nah, cool, man.